Hello, everybody. Good evening. Hello, guys. Good evening. Thank you for joining. Welcome. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How do you feel today, guys? How do you feel today? Everything nice? Are you okay? Are you tired? Are you happy? Everything nice. Nice. I am tired. Oh, yeah, I see. Thank you. Thank you for joining. Thank you for your time. Hey, welcome everybody. We're going to start with the session with the class. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to start by passing the attendance. Remember, as soon as you listen to your name, stay present. Let's begin. Dagna Moncada. Present. Here. Maria Veronica. Present teacher. Hey, Janet. Present teacher. Nancy Castillo. Present teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you for joining. Alexis Flores. Alexis Flores. Ana Maria Wilson. Present. Thanks. Ana Janet. Present. Thank you. Denise Aray. Here. Present. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh, William Ernesto. William Ernesto. Not here yet. Okay, let's continue. Daniel Jeremias. Daniel Jeremias. Not here. Ruth Elizabeth. Present teacher. Here. Ruth Milagro. Present teacher. Very good. Luis Migdio. Present teacher. Thanks. Walter Alfredo. Presentation. Thank you. Welcome. Good evening. Jose Vismara. Jose Vismara. Here. Sonia Maldonado. Sonia Maldonado. Presentation. Thank you. Jaime Humberto. Present. Thanks. Mayanida. Present. Thank you. Gloria Erisela. Gloria Erisela. Are you yet? Heidi Lisbeth. Present teacher. Thank you. Victor Adonai. Victor Adonai. Well, I can see Gloria. Gloria, hello, hello, can you hear me? Gilma Elizabeth. Gilma Elizabeth. Present teacher. Thank you. Jocelyn Monillo. Present teacher. Thanks. Erika Yesenia. Thank you, Erika. Very good. Vilma Tatiana. Vilma Tatiana. I can see Victor on night too. Hello, Victor. Vilma Tatiana. Veronica Milagro. Veronica Milagro. Gerardo Chinchi. Present. Here. Erika Marisol. Present teacher. Thanks. Art Stephanie. Art Stephanie. Right here. Carolina Marquez. Carolina Marquez. Okay. Right here. Alguien que no ha mencionado? Alguien que no ha mencionado? Oh, 
Ya, 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 la, ya la agregué. Creo que no me, no me escuchaba hace un momento. Y es, le, eso es, me uh, este nombre como dos tres veces, pero no me escuchaba. No se preocupe, ya están listos. Daniel Jeremías. Sí, William Ernesto. William Ernesto. ¿Quién sigue? Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, somebody else? No. Sé José Luis Mar, José Luis Mar, todavía. Y Vilma, Matatiana, Ayet, Marta Stephanie. No, and Carolina Marquez. Not yet, okay. Oh, hey, welcome everybody. Good evening. Thank you for joining. We're going to start with the class. This is class number five. Listen, uh, what I want to do first is I want, you know, I want to point out some things about the... Oh, hey, thank you. Thank you for reminding me about Jose Vismar. I hope, I hope you will join us soon. Listen, I want to point out some things about the, the module, the platform, et cetera, in general. And I will say this in Spanish. Bueno, primero quiero hacer énfasis en lo siguiente. Se nos ha estado, se nos ha estado indicando, se nos ha estado en la información, ¿verdad? Por parte de, de si acaso los están pendientes de las autoridades de inglés operativo, ¿verdad? Que están pendientes de todo el proceso. Eh, en este caso de los participantes, progreso con la plataforma, etc. Que, que quiero hacer la siguiente pregunta. ¿Todos han ingresado, todos han accesado a la plataforma sin ningún problema? ¿Hay alguien que también yes, ha ingresado? Yes. Hago la pregunta porque ahora por la tarde me compartieron esa información. Y hay algunos participantes que no han iniciado. No han iniciado y me comentaron, me dijeron que, que les informara que ustedes tienen eh, para finalizar la segunda sección específicamente. Tienen, ya les digo ahorita, ya tengo la, la información. O oh, el día de mañana tienen que finalizar con la sección 2. Sección 2. Y recuerden que la nota mínima es del 80%. ¿Ok? Acá tengo eh, algunos participantes que no han iniciado. No han iniciado con la plataforma. Eh, en el caso de... Bueno, quizás me voy a comunicar con ustedes luego. Con los que no han iniciado. Porque sí, eh, tengo cinco participantes que no han iniciado con la plataforma. Eh, ¿Qué les ha pasado? Ah, ¿Saben? Y eh, voy a ver si los contacto. Contacto. Pero estoy viendo acá algunos participantes que no, no se han unido. Entonces quiero darle seguimiento. Me preocupa. Pero sí tengo dos participantes que están acá. Están acá. Haré lo posible de comunicarme con ustedes, quizás de forma personal, para, para preguntarles qué está pasando. Aquí debemos de cumplir con la, con la, con la, con la, con la plataforma, eh, igual con las, con, las, con, las, con las clases, y a completar todo, ¿verdad? y mantener ese 80%, ese porcentaje, obviamente arriba, ¿verdad? arriba del 80%. Entonces, que, por favor, seamos cuidadosos y vayamos a avanzar, avanzando mucho más. No tienen ninguna restricción, como lo mencionamos en las clases. Ustedes pueden ir avanzando las secciones que ustedes lo desean o si ustedes quieren usar el ritmo con las clases, todo, ¿verdad? Y claro que puede ser, ¿verdad? Podemos ir así. Pero sí les informo que mañana tienen ustedes para finalizar la sección 2. ¿Ok? Pues si sí, alguien tiene preguntas, dudas, comentarios. Teacher, yo, yo sigo con el mismo problema en la 2.4. La converse, conversation 1 no me, no me la vale. 
la pongo de una, de otra y otra y no me lo da. Ok, déjeme revisar más algo. Vamos a revisarlo acá. 2.4. Okay, la sección 2.4 es esta. Listen to the conversations for the, these people heard. There, there may be one or two correct answers for each conversation. Okay, ¿cuál conversación es específica, Agna? Eh, one, one, number one. one. ¿Cuál es la que ha elegido usted? Uh, de primero puse next, no, no, eh, después puse throat, tampoco, hoy le puse head y no, le he puesto juntas head, neck, neck, throat y nada. Sí, como lo mencionamos ayer, ¿verdad? En, esta, en este ejercicio eh, hay dos, probablemente hayan de una o dos respuestas, de una o dos respuestas. Okay. En este caso, con ese ejercicio, les menciono, las, las respuestas son head and throw. Head and throw. Son dos. La primera conversación son dos. Head and throw. Son las dos respuestas. Okay. Escuchamos nuevamente el audio. Les invito a escuchar el audio nuevamente, la conversación. Las sí. conversaciones. Y escuchemos esas dos palabras en la conversación con respecto a la primera conversación. Ok. De ahí en la segunda sí, conversación. Hoy... La segunda conversación les menciono que eh, son dos respuestas sí. también. En la tercera sí. solamente es una. En la cuarta son dos respuestas. Que van a escoger. Pero en la tercera oh, conversación es una respuesta. Bien. No problema. Thank you too. Alguien más, por cierto, eh, welcome, Marta, I can see you. Yeah, thank you. Alguien más que se acaba de unir? Alguien más? Vamos, ¿quién más se ha unido ahorita? Solo Marta. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome, thank you too. Okay, any questions, guys? Anybody else? No olvidemos, repito, no olvidemos ir avanzando en la plataforma. Si alguien ha tenido problemas con, con ingresar, ya la mayoría ingresamos, ¿verdad? En la plataforma y ahí iniciamos nuestro trabajo. Que si es, si es el caso, estamos bien, perfecto. Hay que ir eh, completando y practicando ah. mucho más. Okay. Cualquier cosa estamos a la orden. Eh, solo eh, pueden escribir en el grupo, consultar, invitarme, etc. Y pues va a ser un placer ayudarles a la familia. Ok, si no hay más preguntas, no hay dudas o comentarios, vamos a iniciar. El topic for today is common medications and imperatives. Today is Wednesday, July 21st, class number five. Let's begin. Let's go first with some vocabulary. Let's talk about common medications or medicine. Medicine. Here we have some medicine, some medications, right? First, we have aspirin, have cold tablets, vitamins, cough, syrup, or cough syrup, cough syrup, non aspirin pain reliever, non aspirin pain reliever, cough drops, cough drops. Throw lozenges, throw lozenges, throw lozenges, fantastic tablets, fantastic tablets, nasal spray, nasal spray, eye drops, eye drops, ointment, ointment, green. It is, it, in this case, it's the same, cream and cream. The difference is the spelling, right? The spelling. Cream, cream. This is American, 
and this is British. American, British. Lashen, Lashen, Lashen. Okay. Then we have some specific things, right? Like peel, but it's a general term, peel. You say peel, right? Peel, peel. For example, an aspirin. Um, can be another uh, kind of medicine, right? Say peel, right? Peel, tablet, tablet, capsule, capsule, tablet, tablet, teaspoon, teaspoon, and tablespoon, tablespoon, tablespoon. Okay, those are you know, some medications or some medicine, okay? Let's go again, listen, aspirin, aspirin, cold tablets, cold tablets, vitamins, vitamins, cough zero, cough zero, cough zero, non-aspirin pain reliever, Non-aspirin pain reliever. Cough drops. Cough drops. Throw lozenges. Throw lozenges. Fantastic tablets. Fantastic tablets. Nasal spray. Nasal spray. Eye drops. Eye drops. Ointment, ointment, cream, cream, lotion, lotion, peel, peel, tablet, tablet, capsule, capsule, tablet, tablet, teaspoon, teaspoon. And tablespoon, tablespoon, tablespoon. Okay, those are the different medications that we have, right? I would like to know if you have any questions over here. Tell me. Any questions? Questions about the vocabulary? Uh, no aspirin pain reliever. Is. Yeah, yeah. In this case, when we refer to a non aspirin pain reliever, this is similar to a acetaminophen, paracetamol. Those a kind of yeah, medicine are related to this non aspirin pain reliever. Somebody else? Thanks. You're welcome, Dana. Thank you for asking too. Anybody else? Questions about this vocabulary? Everything okay? No questions? No problems? Yo, yo tenía una. Yeah, yeah, tell me. La diferencia entre cream y ointment es por el depósito. Mm, it depends, right? Because if you use ointment, you're referring to some uh, prescript. Uh, in this case, uh, I would say uh, some prescript uh, cream, for example. But uh, you can use uh, uh, an ointment, you can use ointment for, for some burns, right? You, for example, you fall down and you get a, an injury in your arm, right? So you can use an ointment. If you refer to cream, so that is for your body, right? Your body, because you want to, to hydrate your skin. 
that is the difference. Oiment, we tend to refer this word to unguento, right? Unguento. And we use those ones for medical things. For example, if you got a, if you got a, a bone, a bone in your skin, in your arm, in your leg, etc. So you use ointment because it has, it contains a medicine, right? Medicine. And green, you know, that is for your body because you want to hydrate your skin. Okay, that is the difference. Oh, okay. Yeah, teaspoon, as we can see in the glass, teaspoon, we get a little, a little medicine, and in the other one, we get a lot of cucharadita y cucharada. Teaspoon is cucharadita, and tablespoon is una cucharada. In your case, Gilma, you're asking me. Oh, thank you. Okay. You're welcome, Veronica. Thank you for asking. Oh, okay, Gilma. Yeah, thank you for. Uh, yeah, tell me. Magna? Eh, a la par de teaspoon, no veo la palabra. La eh, this one? Tablespoon? Uh, teaspoon. Eh, yes. Uh, yeah, la par. because. Because we have teaspoon. Next, next. Yeah, next to teaspoon. We have teaspoon yes. and we have tablespoon. 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 Yeah. That yeah. is the other one. That is the word that it yes. is next to a teaspoon, tablespoon. Yes. Yes. Very good. Thank you, Dr. I think somebody else is asking in the chat. Let me see. And it was, let me see, it was, yeah, Gloria. Gloria is asking me about caramelos medicados. It, yeah, I mean, you can say probably candy, candy, but we use this specific term. Let me show you. Cough drops, for example, cough drops. So we tend to say like drops, drops. Refiriéndonos a, lo, a los caramelos americanos, ¿verdad? Half drops. Es different, Gloria. Yes. Okay. And let me see. I think you asked another one. Oh, okay. So if you're referring to injecciones, so you can be like injections. 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 And well, if you're referring to tea, it can be like this tea. Tea. This like this way. Injections. A tea. How do you say benda, teacher? Benda. Mm, I forgot the word. Hey, William, don't do so, please. Please. Um. Let me look for it because I, I have forgotten how, how do we say venda. I've forgotten the word. Let me see. Oh yeah. So you say bandage. Bandage. Let me show you. You say bandage. this I mean bandage yeah for me bandage is curita curita hmm interesting let me let me see an image so you can get more familiar with with that word bandage the bandage yeah it can be in some cases we, we related to curitas or specifically la venda like it can be both, it can be both. In some cases, we use this term. We use a skin, let me show you where it is. A skin cotton bandage, put into curita, right? Like this. A skin cotton bandage, so that is curita. 
and just bend it. Yes, you sure. bend. You will get. Yeah, yeah, tell me. Uh, uh, yeah, para venda sería como un, para un botiquín, ya no como un medication. Exactly, exactly. So that is part of the first aid kit. Yes. First aid kit. And what they can do primero es yes. It is included in the first aid kit. Yeah, mm -hmm. the bandage. Thank you. Great. You're welcome. Yeah, in this case, because we're referring to medications, can I say? We have this, right? Aspirin, cold tablets, hot drops. And of course, if we refer to bandage, et cetera, so those are part of the first aid kit, right? Okay. okay. Somebody else, question? No, no more questions? Okay, moving on to the following part. We're going to start expressing some ideas with the following instructions. We're going to take into account the medication. Listen to this. Whenever I have a headache, I take aspirin. Listen to the instruction. Whenever I have a headache, I take aspirin. I take acetaminophen. I take uh, ibuprofen. Pen, right? Okay, whenever I have a headache, I take aspirin. What about when you have a cold? Whenever I have a cold, I take volunteers. What do you take? Cold side of side of yeah, cough. Here. I take cold tables. Yeah, cold tables. Very good. Repeat again. I think it was it, it was rude. Cough. Zero, cough, zero. Yeah, whenever I have a cold, I take cough, zero, cough, zero, or cold tablets. Yeah. Somebody else, what else? What else do you take when you have a cough? You have a cold, sorry, cold. I take nasal spray. Oh, okay, very good. So in that case, it's different. We don't say take, we use another action. I have a cold. Now we say I use, I use as a spray. Because if you say take, it's because you take a pill, you introduce the, the pill in your mouth and then you drink water, take. But in this case, you use as a spray, it's different. So we say use, but of course we use as a spray. Very good. Next, whenever I have a cough, I take. I take cough drops. Yeah, I take cough drops. I, I take, take cough syrups. Yeah, I take cough syrup. What else? What else? Well, lozenges. Yeah, throw. Lozenges because you have cough. <clears throat> right. Yeah, throw lozenges. Oh, okay, very good. Uh, whenever I have what? I have an injury. I apply, I apply, you can say ointment. My, for example, if the injury is here in your arm, you're saying my arm. You can say apply, apply. I apply ointment in my arm. That is a way, let's see who was asking me about that. Oh, Gloria, yeah. Whenever I have an injury, in my arm, for example, it can be in my leg, Better, I apply ointment in my arm. That's the way, Gloria. 
Another one, what, what else? What else do you take? You have a cough. 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 Whenever I have a cough, I take hot tea. Yeah. Yeah, very good. Thank you. Whenever I have a cough, I take, or it can be I drink, hot tea. Yes, pretty good. Here, yeah. let's go with another one. Whenever I have dry eyes or thor eyes, thor eyes, I use, in this case I use, because you apply. I use what? I use eye drops. Yeah, I use eye drops. You apply eye drops in your eyes. Yes. It's because it's a use. We don't say I take. Because when you say take, it's because you introduce something in your mouth. Sure. A feel a tablet. In, yeah. In this case, we say I use or I apply. You can use when both. Above. It's correct. It's both. Yes. I use or I apply. Yeah, both. Okay, any questions over here? Let's continue with more ideas. Whenever I have stomachache, I take. Antias. I'm sorry? I take Antias. Do you say Antacid? Yeah. Yeah. Antacid tablets. Yes. Antacid tablets. Whenever I, whenever I have a, 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 a stomach, sorry. Whenever I have a stomach, I take antacid tablets. Yes. What else? What else? What else? Cuando se refiere a un jarabe, entonces sería cider. Zero. Uh -huh. Antiacid cider. O oh, cider antiacid. Yes. Antacid zero. Antacid zero. Very good. Whenever I have a stomach ache, I take antacid zero. Yes. Very good. What about? Whenever I have fever, I take or I don't know, I use probably. Mm -hmm. What do you do when you have a fever? Mm -hmm. I take a shower. Okay, yeah. I take a shower. I take non aspirin pain reliever. Yeah. I take non aspirin non aspirin pain reliever. Pretty good. Okay. Amazing. This is the way we express. We have an illness when you're sick, you say, or you take some medicine, right? Some medication. These are some common medications. Okay. Now let's move on to the imperatives. Any questions, by the way? Sorry. Need to continue. No. Everything is okay. Hi, Dragons. No, it's okay, teacher. No. Okay. Moving on. Let's continue with imperatives. When do we use imperatives? They are used to give commands, instructions, and orders. And we don't use objects. We don't use objects. We don't say I, we don't say he, we don't say he, 
she, sorry. We don't say we, we don't say Carlos, we don't say uh, the students, children, etc. We don't include subjects in here. For example, let's go with affirmative words. What we do, or what we have at the beginning is the verb, only the verb. We have a verb and we have a comma. Only that, only that, with imperatives. Again, they are used to give commands, instructions, and orders. What happens, what happens when you go to the doctor? So what does the doctor tell you? Or what does the, the doctor give you? Exactly, so how do we call those actions or those expressions? Those are instructions, right? They give us instructions, but they use commands or they use imperatives, okay? For example, take a pill every four hours. This is one of the instructions that the doctor gives us. Take a pill, take a tablet, a capsule every four hours. That is an instruction, and we use an imperative. And, and we start with a verb. We don't say, I take. I mean, that is different. That is different. You say, I take a pill every four hours. It's different. Attendance. Okay, you are expressing or you're saying something to somebody. I take a pill every four hours. But if you say, take a pill, every four hours with an imperative and an instruction that someone is giving me. For example, a doctor. Hey, Hugo, take a pill every four hours. Okay, so it's an instruction. Let's see another example. Drink a lot of water, that's another instruction. Again, if you visit the doctor, because you feel sick, but the doctor tells you, please drink a lot of water. Okay, that is another another expression that we can use with imperatives. And when we use please, it's because you're formal or formal. For example, you can say, please drink a lot of water. So in this case, you are, are more polite, more polite, more formal. We can place please at the beginning or we can place please at the end. Drink a lot of a lot of water, please. The difference is that here we use a comma. And the first one we don't use. Please drink a lot of water or drink a lot of water, please. Both are correct. Both are correct. Okay. So the chat. Ah, okay. Yeah, so you can say a medical prescription. Medical prescription, Gloria. Medical prescription. That is not a medical. Okay, that is another prescription. Yes, that is another that's that is another instruction, right? Continue with the imperatives. Let me give you another example. Sit down, please. That is the command. If you are, I mean, let's imagine when we were when we were children, right? When we were, we were students at school, our teacher tells us, our teacher well, told us, because yeah, this is us, our teacher told us, sit down, please. That is a command. Okay. Another example, clean your room. I'm sorry. It is an, an order. It's an order, yeah. It's an order. Sit down, please. Or a command. Or we can say, in your house, for example, your parents can tell you, clean your room. That is an order. Clean your room. If not, you cannot go out. So it's an order. We use imperatives. Okay? This is an affirmative way. An affirmative. We're gonna go with negative. Yes, I did. That's a good example. The same bit. That is another imperative. 
but it's another instruction that a doctor gives you. A doctor gives you. Stay in bed. An instruction. Pretty good. Okay. Questions about affirmative? Questions? Teacher. Yeah. In the last example, your is no adjective. Uh, this one? Oh, your. Okay, sorry. Your. Yeah. In clean your room. Yes. In your room. So you said that your, your, you're asking me if your is a subject, right? Oh, yeah. It's correct. Sorry. This one, yeah, your, no worries. Your, it is not a subject. Your is possessing adjective. Adjective. In your room. Or, for example, clean. His room or clean my room. Those are possessing additives. Yeah. They are no subjects. Okay. You can use a uh, possessing additives. Additive. Or we can include other pronouns. Other pronouns. For example, we have me, you, him, her. Okay, we have eat, them, better. For example, you can say, call him tomorrow. This is another pronoun. Call him tomorrow. Call him tomorrow. But they are no subjects, right? They are no subjects. Okay, let's go with the negative form. In the negative form, what we do or what we use, sorry, is do not at the beginning. Do not, or we can use the contraction, don't. Don't, plus the verb, and a compliment. But we can say, don't work too hard. That is another instruction that a doctor can give you, right? If you're feeling bad, if you're feeling terrible, so he or she tells you, don't work too hard. That is an instruction. Second, don't stay up, don't stay up late. That is another instruction. Okay. Next, don't eat in the classroom, please. That is another. Again, I said before, I was using please. You can use please with the negative form, and you are more formal. But now in negative, we say, Please don't work. So we can say, don't work too hard, please. And you are more polite, more formal. If you include please, this expression is yes. We always, I mean, in some cases, people uh, likes to use please, the imperative. And it's okay. Okay. Any questions? Can you mention can you mention some common commands that we have listened to someone that we listen in classes, for example, the you know, people use in other scenarios. Can you mention some examples of imperatives? Affirmative or negative? It can be instructions, uh, commands, orders. What are some other examples of imperatives? Let's see. Listen to you. What examples? Don't eat in class. No, don't. Don't speak aloud in class. Okay, don't speak aloud in class. In class, right? 
Yes. Very good, very good. Another one? It can mean classes. Uh, probably your doctor tell you that too, uh, et cetera. In a meeting, in a conference. Another one? Right in class. Yeah, right in class. Or can be, or take notes, take notes. Right in class or take notes? Very good. Other one? No smoking. Don't smoke. Don't smoke. Very good. Don't smoke. Don't smoke. Uh, what? Um, at the bank. I mean, what is at the bank, for example, or in a specific place, right? Probably, I don't know, some people prohibit, but they ban uh, to do this. At the cafeteria. Exactly. Don't smoke at the cafeteria. Yeah, at the cafeteria. Very good. That is a good that is a good scenario, or it can be at the restaurant. Yes, I'm gonna smoke at the cafeteria or at the restaurant. Very good. Another one. Thank you. Don't make too much noise in class. Don't make too much noise in, noise in class. In class, yes. For example, right right here in inverted classes, we tend to, to use this commands right, or this impediment. Use your microphone. The microphone or probably it can be like or on your microphone, or on your microphone, switch on your microphone, and the opposite, right? Switch off or off, etc. Or you can be like, share your answers in the chat, in the chat box. Share your answers in the chat box. In case you cannot use the microphone, right? That is an, an imperative, that is an instruction that, in this case, facilitators give the participants. Okay. I'm sorry? <laughs> okay, another one is don't go to work. Don't go to work. Yes, very good. Idea. Don't go don't go to school. Yeah. School if it is an emergency. It's not, like right now, right? Right now. We have the pandemic and we know that it is not an obligation for the students to go to, to school. So it can be like don't go to school. Probably your parents tell you, don't go to school. Don't touch me, yeah. Touch me. Yes. Very good. Don't forget to wear your mask. Excellent. That is a nice example. Don't forget to wear your mask all the time. Yes. All the Don't time. Don't worry. Don't worry. Yeah. Don't worry. Turn on your camera. Yes on your camera mm -hmm. another one don't drink too much soda yeah don't drink coffee don't drink coffee don't drink don't. Too much coffee too much soda don't roam in the classroom yeah don't roam in the classroom very good don't eat candy yes that's for children right don't eat candy don't eat candy don't Turn off the uh, microphone. Yeah, turn off the microphone. Very good. Wait. Wait for. Yeah, what do you mean, Ana Maria? It can be wait. Wait for a minute, for example. Wash your hands. Mommy. Yeah, wash your hands. Play a song. Yeah. Very good. As you can see, we have a lot of examples, a lot of imperatives, instructions, commands, um, orders, etc. Very good. Listen, we're going to do the, the following practice. Wear a mask. 
Yes, where am I? Where am I? Where am I? Even when you see signs in the streets, for example, or when you go to a specific place at the bank, at a restaurant, you see signs, right? Signs like stop, stop, but it's, it must come, right? Okay, don't smoke. Okay, don't use your cell phone. You go to the bank, right? So you can see signs. Algunas, ¿cómo se les llama? Se me olvidó el nombre. Me olvida cómo se dice en español. Algunas señales, algunas señales probablemente de para el tránsito, algunas para los bancos, los, los bancos, exacto, para no utilizar algunos objetos, objetos en ese caso corto punto, ¿verdad? O en el caso de teléfono. ¿Ok? Very good. Listen, we're going to practice with the following exercises. Y es de, very good. Brush your teeth. That is another one. Good. Brush, brush your teeth. Good. This is when you go to the dentist. Yeah. Brush your teeth. Amazing. Let's go with the following exercises. What I want to do, I need you to complete these exercises with the correct form of the imperatives. In your notebooks, please write these imperatives with the correct form. I have affirmative and we have negative. The verbs are in parentheses. Go, swim, in this case it's not, right? It is negative. Do, not play, brush, not talk, not eat, and read. Please, in your notebooks, let's start with the exercises, please. I'm going to show you, I'm going to give you the first one, and then you're going to continue with the other ones, right? The first one, we have the verb go, and the other word is afterwards. So the imperative is go afterwards. Go after it. Okay? Now, I need you to continue with the other ones. Number two, number three, until number eight. Let's go. I will give you a few minutes. If you have any questions, please let me know. Let me know. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Gloria, that's a, that's a good example. Yes, in medicine, people use imperatives, yes. Like, for example, the most common is keep out, keep out. Um, I don't know, for example, keep out, like, this medicine fell off the reach of children. That can be the way. Referring to the medicine, right? That is example. Very good. So they use imperatives, yes. Okay, continue, please. Continue. As soon as you finish, please raise your hands. Let me know, please. You're welcome, Gloria.
finish. Thanks. Very good. Okay. Um, we're going to start in two minutes. One or two minutes. Thank you. Can't see. Okay, we're going to start and you know, I will select participants randomly, right? And you're going to help me with this imperative. Number one, as we said, is go afters. Number two, Sonia? What teacher? Yeah, can you help us to number two? Okay. What is number two? Yeah, uh, two is queen is dislay. Dislay. Don't. 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 Yeah. Now the verb, what is the verb? A uh, screen? Yes. Don win. Don wins in this lake. Lake. Yes. Very good. This is negative, Sonia. Not cream. Yeah. yeah. In that case, in parentheses, that is a verb. And it means that we have to use a negative word. But remember, in negative, the imperatives they start with don't. Don't, and it is accompanied with a verb. Don't swim in the state. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Anytime. Anytime. Daniel, number three. Go to do your homework. Do your homework. Yes. Do your homework. Jocelyn, number four. Did you have Okay. Yeah, O sea, yo entendía también de que tendríamos que poner el, en una forma más interactiva y por eso le agregaba el go. ¿Le agregaba él? O sea, si, si, era, si se podía. De la manera que lo dice, si se puede. Repetir otra vez, ¿cómo? Go to do your homework. Repetir otra vez el inicio, perdón. Go to do, you, to do your homework. Oh, you say go to do your homework. 
Yes. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Go to do your homework. Okay, it can be, can be. But yeah, the main verb is do. If you want to say in this way, probably you can say, Daniel, go and do your homework. Go and do your homework. Ambriel two for the end. Yes, yes. Exactly. Okay. Very good. Teacher, yes. I have a question. Tell me. In the second exercise, podría haber escrito yo not swing. No. No, because when we use imperatives, we use don't or do not. That's the way. Okay. Do not or don't. So that is the, the first thing that you include in the, in the imperative, to net. Yeah, in this case, be careful because when we say not swim, it's because it means that you have to use negative form. But we don't have to say not swim, for example. We have to say don't swim. Be careful. Okay. Thank you. Jocelyn, please, number, number four, sorry. Don't play football in the yard. Yes. Don't play football in the yard. Excellent. Veronica Duran, number five. Number four? Number five, sorry. Veronica? Bruce, brush your teeth. Okay. Brush, brush your teeth. Yes. Brush your teeth. Ruth, Elizabeth, number six. Don't talk during the lesson. Yeah. Don't talk during the lesson. This is good. Number six, Jaime? Number seven, sorry. Don't feed the animals in the zoo. Don't feed the animals in the zoo. Callate que estoy en clase. Nice. Next, oops, oops. Be careful, be careful, please. Be careful. Uh, number eight, somebody else. The last one. Read the instructions. Yes, read the instructions. Pretty good. So these are the answers, guys, for the imperatives. This is the way we use them and we construct the imperatives. Okay. Any questions over here? Any questions? Okay, Thank you. Okay, teacher. Thanks a lot. Well, listen, it uh, just the last part because yeah, it's time. Eh, solo pedí lo siguiente. Seamos cuidadosos cuando no, este, participamos, por ejemplo, y a veces a veces damos un micrófono encendido. A veces se nos enciende sin querer, ¿verdad? Cuando damos algo sin querer, o probablemente lo encendemos porque queremos preguntar algo, participar, no se olvide de apagar. En ese caso, seamos cuidadosos, porque ven que se trata de ¿verdad? Es mentira. Eh, diferente caso con contextos, eh, interferencias, etcétera, para que no haya ningún para que los demás, a veces hay muchas interferencias, entonces probablemente no se muy bien, ¿verdad? Así que que les doy el favor y seamos cuidadosos también. Okay, please. Y lo otro es solamente recalcar lo que mencionaba al principio para los que no se habían unido, que por favor seguir avanzando en la plataforma. No dejamos de, de de completar los ejercicios, ¿verdad? Ver los videos informativos con respecto a los contenidos para recuperar un poco más y seguir avanzando, ¿verdad? Seguir avanzando. Si hay algún problema, alguna dificultad, repito, estamos siempre ahí a la orden. Ustedes pueden consultar con gusto. ¿eh? Y lo otro, no me quiero ir con, sin mencionarlo, quizás lo voy a mencionar acá porque sí estoy más seguro. En el caso de Erika Yesenia y Víctor Adonai, que bueno, cuando me reportaron ahora por la tarde con respecto a los participantes que no habían avanzado todavía en la plataforma, me mencionaron eh, sus nombres. Así es que no sé qué ha pasado. 
Mito, Erika Yesenia y Víctor Adonai. Lo menciono aquí porque así aprovecho y los escucho. No olvidemos. Sí, teacher. Eh. ¿Eh? Dígame, Erika. De hecho, yo le comentaba a la señorita que me llamó que, que el fin de semana me voy a poner al corriente debido a que oh. por cuestiones de, de la universidad ajá, se me ha dificultado un poco. Excelente. Thank you. Thank you for coming. En, en Víctor, Víctor, eh, gracias. No se preocupe, se avanzó perfecto. Excelente. Y eh, solo lo menciono porque, verdad, este, a veces es bien difícil probablemente contactarlos, aunque yo sé que los contactos están en el grupo, pero, pero algo que sí me cuesta un poquito es que a veces no pueden ser sus nombres. No los, no, no los tengo eh, la mayoría agregados, entonces, y es porque no, en, en ese programa no recibimos un listado. Los contactos. Y en, el, en el grupo WhatsApp, pero no, no aparecen sus nombres a veces, no logro identificar quién es que no son. Cuando ustedes se dirigen a mí personalmente, pues ahí les pregunto a veces eh, eh, quién es en ese caso, ¿verdad? De eh, manera respetuosa. Para, por eso a veces es bien difícil, ¿verdad? Pero para mí, me gustaría, pues, tenerlos en, en caso agregado, cualquier cosa. Si eh, se dirigen a mí, pues ya sé que son ustedes. Eh, no se preocupen, gracias por informar. Y recuerden seguir avanzando. Es que no nos quedan hasta acá, no sé si hay dudas, preguntas, o algún comentario. Y recuerden, thank you, y recuerden estar siempre presentes. No, mantener siempre ese porcentaje, ¿verdad? El 80%, lo repito, eh, en ese caso, para no patinar, ¿verdad? Mantener ese 60%, al igual que la asistencia. ¿Ok? Oh, Verónica Durán. Ok. Permítanme, si me dan un momento, les comparto acá en el chat de, de, de Zoom. Voy a compartir el link. Lo pregunté unas clases atrás, probablemente quizá no estaba Verónica. Pregunté si estaban en el grupo todos. Pensé que, pensé, perdón, pensé que era el mismo que teníamos antes. Oh, ok. No se preocupe. Uh -huh, no se preocupe. Voy a compartir de manera general otra vez el link. En el, en el chat de, de Zoom para que ustedes puedan accesar los que no han ingresado todavía a tu WhatsApp. Porque ahí tenemos este, la comunicación ¿verdad? con todos. Perdón, ahí hacía la pregunta de Verónica. No lo había revisado. Ahí les comparto el, el, el enlace ¿verdad? para que ustedes se unan a tu WhatsApp. No se han unido. Igual les voy a compartir el link para el canal de YouTube. Para los que quieran ver las grabaciones, son, probablemente no tengan el link. Ustedes pueden accesar pues, desde acá, ¿verdad? Desde el link. Ahí también. El segundo es el, el, el enlace para el canal de YouTube. El primero es para WhatsApp. ¿Ok? Y, well, everybody, this is all for today. We're going to continue tomorrow with new class, right? Thank you so much again. Have a good night, everybody. Be soon. Be safe and blessings. Bye bye. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye. Good night. Bye. 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 Good night. Bye, teacher. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Thank you, bye -bye. Thank you teacher. You're welcome. It was a pleasure. Good night, teacher. Thank you. You too.